So to stream root beer. What's up, gang? It's your boy, Trash Can Riley. I hate New Year's. It's the worst holiday. So if you clicked on this video, you're gonna see me rant about it for about 2020. Just about a rant, just a rant, basically, this video. So if you click on this video, uh, stay. Stay. Anyways, like I was saying, I look weird. Like, should I just like, should I just like, keep lighting like this, this works. Little lighting is not so good in my house. If I had like a ring light, it'd be better. I don't have a ring light. What if I don't aim it directly at me and aim it like, huh? Huh? I guess that's better. So anyway, yeah. New, New Year's is the worst. If I move closer, I'm drinking root beer. Um, soda stream root beer. But yeah, it's like the build up. There's no build up for me because I don't go to parties because I don't get invited. That's the only reason why I don't go to them. Uh, but yeah, like there's no build up for me. And it's like... New Year's Eve, like, tw the, cl the clock, the clock strikes midnight. Yeah! New Year! Let's go! I'm gonna be different. You know you won't. No, you won't. You won't be different. And then, like, after you, you celebrate, make all that noise for no reason, really, it's like, it's like, okay, cool. Let's go to bed now. I'll see you tomorrow on New Year's Day, which is not any better because there's nothing happening that year. It's just the first day of a new year. It's like, come on. Really? That's exciting? I don't find that exciting. What was I talking about? But yeah, and like the noise. It's like, come on, man. That hurts my ears. Can you not do that? Can you not bang the pots? Actually, I enjoy that. But I don't do that. I haven't done that in a while. So I used to enjoy that. But, yeah. And there's no build-up, like I said, because I don't get invited to parties because... Uh, people don't like me, I guess. Um, this isn't scripted, so I'm going to pause. Because it's just a rant, you know? Oh, sorry. Um, fuck, man. I keep on forgetting what I was talking about. The most exciting thing, in my opinion, for New Year's, is your first shit of the year. That's the most exciting part. Like, I'm gonna be on the toilet at, like, 11.59, and I'm gonna be pushing, at, like, uh, and I'm gonna make sure the first poop that comes out <laughs> goes at midnight. Because that's important to me. It's not important to me. But last year, that was probably... My most fun New Year's, because I actually had friends over. I had my friend Landon, John, and Brady. They all came over. We all just chilled, had a good time. You know, we did a Nerf battle. It was fun. I was on crutches, though, so that wasn't fun. But, yeah, so that was just that was just the fun part. We were just having fun. As much fun as I could on crutches. <clears throat> but then, after that, I actually went to John's house, because he used to live, um, he used to live, like, Three houses down. He moved to Vancouver, though. So he doesn't live there anymore. So then I went to his house. You know, Brady left. And me, Landon, and John went to John's house. We watched, like, a movie. I fell asleep at his house. So then I woke up, like, a few hours later, tired. And then I had to crutch up the stairs to go home. <laughs> that wasn't nice. But, yeah, then it was just me and Landon because Landon lives kind of far from us. From my family. He lives like... Wow, he lives far away. Not that far. Not too far, but not within walking distance like Brady does and John did. Um, but yeah, it was like... That was fun. That was fun. It was just a couple of dudes being guys. We had a blast. I think. I think they had fun. It seemed like they did. Um, but then, like the New Year's before that, I don't remember what I did. I actually don't remember what I did. I probably went to my cousin's house. 
that's probably what I did. I mean, that's fun. That's always fun, but, like, it's still, like, okay, cool. I've never been to a party with, like, people my age, you know? People that aren't in my family. I've never went to a party because I've never been invited, like I said. Hint, 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 hint. Invite me to parties, guys. Come on. But I'm not going to do illegal shit. That's not my thing. Um, twenty. Let's talk about 2020 now. Shit year. Absolutely garbage year. One way to describe it, bummy. That's how I describe 2020. Just completely bummy. We almost had World War Two in the first month. We had Australia was on fire. Almost World War Three. Not World War Two. World War Two happened a while ago. But yeah, World War Three almost happened. Australia on fire. Pfft, what else happened? Uh, I don't remember what happened. Uh, the, 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 like, Greta Thun Thunberg, like, told us that we're fucked, basically. So that sucked. <clears throat> and then, like, the COVID happened. It wasn't even September yet. COVID happened. I had to get out of school and do online, which sucked bum cheeks. I hate online school so much. I I do terrible in online school because I do, at my school, at my school, I do, in BC, in Canada, I think in all of Canada, we do one class at school, one class at home, you know, and once one day a week, we go in all day for the two classes. It's a 10 day week thing. It's a 10 day, 10 week thing. Um, yeah, it's a 10 week thing. So far, we're on the second quarter, third quarter is happening next. It's fun. I enjoy it. I actually enjoy this. Like, I like going to school now because of how boring t I was at home. Like, I'm always, I'm always at I always stay, I always, ah, I can't talk, man, no, I always stay home, I stayed home in 2019, 2018, I didn't do anything, because, well, nobody invites me to do anything, hint, hint, you bums, um, but yeah, I stayed home, so it was like, that was just like a regular thing, but then, once I actually couldn't go anywhere, it's like, come on, man, I want to do something, but I couldn't, because there's a virus going on, and all that. So, but then I, but cause, just because it got taken away, I wanted to do that. Because that's how humans work. Once you take something away, they're going to want it more. You know? You don't appreciate something until it's gone. That's how people felt about Pop Smoke X, uh, Mac Miller, I guess. Lil Peep, I guess. I don't like Lil Peep. Uh, pff, who else died? Uh, pff, Brody Lee. Brody Lee, he's a wrestler. He died, like, a few days ago. At 41, man. 41. That sucked. Like, I've I've been watching wrestling for a while, you know? I've known about him since 2014. So I've known him for a while. I've always liked him, and he dies, and it's like, damn. Someone's calling. Someone's calling. Shut up. Should I? Okay, it's just pretty cool. Okay. I'll just wait until the... Calls up. I don't know who's British Columbia. Well, British Columbia is my province, but I don't know who's calling. I think my mom answered it. But yeah, Brody Lee. Let's talk about. Uh, uh, that's. Uh, this isn't even about twenty. This is about twenty twenty. Cause he died in twenty twenty, like last week. Not even a week ago. He died like four days ago. It sucked. Forty one. He was only forty one, and he died, and it's like that hit hard. You know, that's like the the most famous. He's like, I guess he's a celebrity with like wrestling, the wrestling community. But like this is like the hardest. This hurt the most out of every single celebrity death. Like this hurt the most. Even Kobe, I was like, oh shit. You know, with Juice, I was like, oh shit. But like with Brody, I was like, I'm like, I'm still like, oh shit. And that happened like four days ago. <sighs> well, I still can't believe like Juice World's gone and Kobe's gone. That shit's crazy, but that didn't hit as hard as Brody Lee for some reason. <sighs> and there was a AEW episode dedicated to Brody Lee, which is nice. And uh, they're getting a T-shirt, a Brody Lee Memorial T-shirt, which is nice. All the fan, all the money goes to his family, the John Huber, the Huber family. That's his last name. So if you want to support uh, the family. Go to shopaw.com. I don't know why I'm doing an ad right now, 
but shop at aw.com get the Brody lee memorial shirt and yeah then the money will go to them which is nice but yeah anyway back to 2020 i just went on a tangent of Brody lee i don't know why it's gonna be a long video <laughs> um shit but yeah like i said 20 like once like the, the taken once hanging out with people got taken away that hit hard that hurt my feelings because i don't want to be too, uh, i want to hang out with people because i'm like a teenager now i'm like 15 now this is like when social socials like being social is important in teenagers lives i can't be social anymore i just got to go to school so now i get more excited to go to school than go to home which <laughs> it's weird. That's what 2020 did to me. I'm excited for school. Like when this was my reaction when I knew that the break was winter break was coming up. I was like, damn. I was like, oh, winter break's coming up. I wasn't like, let's go. I was like, damn, man, that sucks. Cause I just I like going to school now. I don't like learning. I like socializing. Cause I haven't been able to do that. I thought I was gonna burp. Sorry. Wait. Oh, excuse me. Um. So yeah, it's, I want to socialize with people, but I can't. So I, I'm excited to go to school now. You know the good part about the quarter system. I thought I wouldn't like it, but I kind of like it. The good part about it is like you meet new people, and then you like become friends with them because you're with them every day, every day, for ten weeks. That's a long time. Actually, that's not a long time. That's not that long. It's like a two months, three months. I don't know how long. I think it's three months. Yeah, three months long. That's how long last quarter was. But yeah, you're with these these this class for ten months. I mean, not ten months, for three months, and that like gets you close to them. So I make I made new friends that I like and enjoy talking to. But I I can so I can hang out with them, but they don't want to hang out with me. It seems like because they don't invite me to hang out with anyone. Hint hint. <laughs> um, so like yeah I'm trying to think of more things to say cause I don't know <laughs> I'm, I'll think of more I'll think of more wait I thought of something new OnlyFans OnlyFans popped off with girls like showing off their bodies I'm never gonna buy a girl's OnlyFans ever one, I don't have money right now. Actually, I have money right now, but I don't want to spend it on that. I have, like, $220 from, like, birthday money and Christmas money. So, like, yeah, I don't, I'm, but, like, in my in my life, I'm never going to buy a girl's OnlyFans. Because that's, like, wh how can you be that desperate to see a girl naked that you're going to pay them monthly for that? It's, like, come on. Like, I respect it. You know, I respect the girls doing it because they're getting, their, they're getting their bag up. Like, holy. <laughs> Bella Delphine. Belle, Belle Delphine, she makes so much money off her OnlyFans, so much, like more money than my family has ever seen, than my parents have ever seen in their entire life in like a month, that's crazy, that's a lot of money, and like, like I, like, like I said, I respect it, but if you have an OnlyFans, and like I'm, I'd be like, you have to be 18 to be legal, and I'll be like 18, and you, and I'm, I'm interested in a girl, and I found that she has an OnlyFans. I will not be, well, I'll still be interested in her. I will not be interested in a relationship with her. Because that's like, whoa. You, you like, show your body. You, like, post naked pictures and stuff for other guys. It's like, well, that's not special to me anymore then. Because, like, you, you're showing your body off. And that's for me, not guys. <sighs> Never had a girlfriend. I don't know how I would feel. But, like, I assumed that I'd be like, what are you doing? Come on, come on. Stop showing your vagina to guys, to random guys, and show it to me. <laughs> um, uh, that's um, that's not even about 2020 anymore. It is about 2020 because OnlyFans popped off in 2020. 2020 was a good good time for music because people had time to make music, you know? Like, the kid Leroy, he dropped, like, two albums this year and a bunch of singles. It's crazy. Um, Eminem dropped, his, like, Music to be Murdered by Side B. That was great. Kid Cudi dropped, uh, what's it called again? The Adventures of Moon Man. Ah, I forgot what it's called. Something Moon Man. Moon Man 3. Man of the Moon. Man of the Moon 3. 
and that was a nice album, you know. Lil Baby got really I I, I got into Lil Baby now because he like improved a bunch this year. Let's pff, Pop Smoke, holy shit, <laughs> so successful, and he's dead, so it doesn't even matter that he's successful. But like, I think like this this people probably won't like me for this, but I think he's overrated. Pop Smoke, you know. But look, I don't, I'm, I'm not saying I don't like him, because I do like him. I just don't think he should be as, he should, I don't think he is as good as people say he is. You know? You know? Yeah, you know. Um. But yeah, people have time to drop music, so they're dropping music. NBA Youngboy came out with like, pff, seven albums this year? <laughs> I don't know. I don't listen to NBA Youngboy. I think he's garbage. Um. But yeah. It's like, I guess music was good this year. I don't really keep up with it that much, really. Like, when I see big guys, like... Well, I have my notifications on for Lyrical Lemonade, so I watch every music video that comes out off of there. Um, But I don't really, like... Because I don't have that stuff on my recommended page on YouTube. New music. New music from rappers. New music, just new. I don't. I don't really have music recommended. I have beats recommended because I look up beats a lot because I make music sometimes. I'm making an album right now. I'm. I have writer's block right now, so I cannot think of anything. So I just have four songs, and I'm probably gonna make like ten in the album. Uh, it's probably gonna be called like "There Is No Genre" because there's there's not really like a specific genre. I gotta shit. I gotta take a shit. I'll be back. I finished shitting. It was nice. It was it was smooth, you know. But yeah, I can't. I can't. Twenty twenty. I'm talking about a different thing. It's a rant. This is a junior chicken. My dad got me. Shout out him. Uh, but I'm gonna just have a bite of this. This is my brother works at McDonald's, so like, my dad just dropped him off. Even though he can drive, he didn't want to drive. Sorry, um, but yeah, anyway, that's 20, I came into 2020, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna have a glow up, I'll have like a picture of me last year, like in a, in a split screen or something like that, so I was gonna have a glow up, I kinda did, not gonna lie, I got nicer hair, you know, nicer face, it's, it's weird, maybe I'm just more confident now, I don't know, but yeah, I was like, I'm gonna have a glow up. I'm finally gonna get bitches. That that part's a lie. I didn't bite. Glow up was right, you know. So then, but then 2020 happened. I had to glow. I was like, yeah, cool. I'm I'm hot now. That's nice. But then, virus. Damn. Almost World War Three. Damn. George Floyd died. Damn. That sucks. It was just like, boom, boom, boom. Say this is our face. This is 2020. You, uh, he's just beating the shit out of us. Every chance they got, every chance 2020 got, and they've been beating the shit out of us since COVID-19, and I'm sick of it. 2020 sucks. 2021 is gonna happen. Not gonna change anything. The vi the vaccine's gonna come out. Things are gonna finally get back to normal. That's part it's gonna change, but it's not gonna change right away. And people are acting like it is. So that's that. I talked about that in my last video. But like people are like, ah, 2021. Don't worry, don't worry. COVID, don't worry. Don't worry, guys. It's almost 2021. We'll, we'll be okay then. No, we won't. We'll be, we'll be the same. The first, like, months. Then we'll be get back normal. Get back to normal. You know, Black Lives Matter shit's still gonna... Stuff... I swear. <laughs> the Black Lives Matter shit's still gonna happen. Which is good. It's great. Um, but, like... Yeah, this video's gonna be long. It's probably, like... Oh, almost 20 minutes now but yeah pff, pff, i don't know what else i can say uh 2020 bad new year's bad look at graph i'll have a graph of i see pewdiepie do it so it's nice 